we going to start with the chapter percentage. Very first of all, what is percentage? Percentage means the comparison with 100. This chapter itself means per cent. Cent means 100. So we can write this one as 1 upon 100. That is also equals to this symbol. Whenever we have to put the percentage sign, we multiply the number by 100. And when we have to remove the percentage sign, we divide the number by 100. Now let's start with the exercise 7.1. And the question number one, we have to convert the given number into the fraction form. So this can be written as 3, 5, 6 upon 100. We have removed the percentage sign. Now we can to reduce it to the lowest term. So this can be divided by 2. So this is 1, 7 and 8 upon 5, 0. This can again be divided by 2. This will be 2, 5 and this will be equals to 8 and 9. So 8, 9 upon 2, 5, which can also be converted into the mixed form. That is 3 whole, 1, 4 upon 2, 5. So this is your answer. Let's see one more part of it. And this can be written as 2 into 2, that is 4 plus 1, 5 by 2 percentage. On removing the percentage, this can be taken 5 by 2 into 1 upon 100. This 5 can cancel out this to get 20. And this will become 1 upon 40 as answer. Now let's go with question number 2. Here we have to convert this given fraction into the percentage form. So for doing so, we are going to multiply this number by 100 and as this 100 has been multiplied so we have to divide it also by 100 now we can solve this 2 by 100 and this will be 50 over a 3 into 50 that is 150 and we very well know that is 1 upon 100 is the sign of percentage so this is your answer let's see one more part from here here we are having one whole 1 by 4 so 4 into 1 4 4 plus 1 5 5 by 4 this can be written as 5 by 4 into 100 and into 1 upon 100. Now this 4 can cancel out this to give 2, 5. Now 5 into 25 is 1, 2, 5. And this 1 upon 100 will become the sign of percentage as your answer. Now let's see question number 3. Here we have to convert this number in a form of fraction. Then we have to convert into the percentage. So first of all, we are going to convert this into a fraction. And for doing so, we are having 3 upon 4. As we know that 4 into 25 is 100. So we are going to multiply 25 in both numerator and denominator. So this will be 3 into 25 that is 75 upon 4 into 25 that is 100. So this can be easily written as 0 0.75 in our decimal. Now we have to convert this number into the percentage. So for that we are going to multiply this number by 100. So into 100 and we can put a percentage sign over here. Now 0 0.75 into 100 that is 75 percent as answer. Now let's see one more part from here. Here we are having 3 upon 16. Now in the case of 16 we can write the 16 as 2 to the power 4. So we have to multiply 5 to the power 4 in both numerator and denominator that is 3 upon 16 into 5 to the power 4 that is 6 to 5 upon 6 to 5. Now in denominator we will be getting 10,000 and in the numerator 3 into 6 to 5 equals to 1875. Now we can place the decimals. So after 4 is it 0 0.1875 and now we can convert this number decimal number into percentage by multiplying it by 100. So 1875 into 100 and we can convert this one by the percentage sign. So this is 18.75 percent as answer. Now we are having question number 4. Here we are again been given with a fraction 2 upon 3. We have to convert this into a decimal sign. But for this we have to divide this number 2 by 3. So on dividing it we will be getting 0 0.666 and so on which can be round off to get 0 0.666 and 7. Then we have to convert this number into a percentage and for that we are going to multiply this number by 100. So on multiplying it by 100 we get 66.67% as 
answer. Now in question number five, we have been given with a ratio and we have to convert it into a percentage. So 70 is to 20. This can be written as 17 upon 20. And to convert into a percentage, this can be written as 17 upon 20 into 100. Here, 0, 0 cancel out, 2 in 5. So 70 into 5, that is 85% as answer. Let's do one more part from here, 93 is to 80. So this can be written as 93 upon 80. And to convert into percentage, this will be 93 upon 80 into 100. So 0, 0 cancel out. 2 4 times and 2 5 times. So this will be 93 into 5 that is 465 upon 4 percent. 116.25 percent if you write in a decimal. Now in question number 6 we have to convert this number into a decimal sign by removing this percentage. So this can be written as 20 into 1 upon 100. Now we are going to solve it. This will be 2 upon 10 that is 0.2 as answer. Let's do one more part of the 3 whole 1 by 4 percent. So first of all we are going to convert this into a improper form. So 4 into 3 12 and 12 plus 1 that is 13 upon 4 percent. Now we are going to remove this percent 13 upon 4 into 1 upon 100. Now this can't be solved anymore. So 13 upon 400 and on solving this we will be having 0.0325 as answer. Now we are moving to question number 7. Here we have to find the value of 27% of rupees 50. So this can be written as 27 upon 100 into 50. So 0, 0 cancel out. 5 into 2 to get 10. So 27 upon 2 that is equals to rupees 13.50 as answer. Let's also see the second part of this that is 6 whole 1 by 4 percent of 25 kg. So first of all we are going to write this one in an improper form that is 6 into 4 24 and 25. So 25 upon 4 percent of 25 kg. So this can be written as 25 upon 4 into percentage sign will be removed by 1 upon 100 into 25 kg. Now 25 into this will be cancelled by getting 4 and we are left with 25 upon 4 folder 16 kg. Then this can be written as 1 whole 9 by 16 kg as answer. Now we are having question number 8. Here what percent is 300 gram of 2 kg? First of all we are going to convert this 2 kg into gram. So 300 gram of 2000 gram. Now we have to find the percentage of 300. So this can be written as 300 gram upon 2000 gram. This gram gram cancel out into 100 to get the percentage sign. Now solve it. Two zeros are cancelled with this one. One zero is going to cancel this and two 15s are. So we get 15% as answer. Let us also see the second part of it and here we are having rupees 7.50 of rupees 6. So this can be written as rupees 7.50 upon rupees 6 into 100. Now this rupees rupees signs can be cancelled out and this decimal sign can be removed to get 100 in the denominator. Now this 100 will be cancelled out and will be left with 750 upon 6. Now this 750 can be cancelled by 6 and we will be getting 125% as answer. Now we are moving to question number 9. Here we have to find what percent of 50 kg is 65 kg. So here this can be written as 65 kg upon 50 kg into 100. Here kg and kg are cancelled out 50 twos are 100. So we are left with 65 into 2 that is 130 percent as answer. Let's also see the second part of it. Here we are having rupees 9 is rupees 4. So what percent of rupees 9 is rupees 4? So rupees 4 upon rupees 
9 into 100. So this is going to cancel out. We will be left with 4 into 100 that is 400 upon 9. And this can be written as 44 whole 4 upon 9 percent as answer. Now we are having question number 10. Here we have to find the number whose 16 whole 2 by 3 percent is 25. So let the number be x. And according to question, 16 whole 2 by 3 percent of x equals to 25. Now we are going to solve it. And this can be written as 16 into 3, 48, 48 plus 2, that is 50 upon 3. And this percentage sign can be removed by 1 upon 100 of x, that is into x equals to 25. This 50 is going to cancel out to get 2 over here. Now we can shift this on the other side and this will become x equals to 25 into 3 into 2. That is x equals to 25 into 2, that is 50 and 50 into 3. That is 150 as the required number. Now let's see the second part of the question number 10. Here we have to find the number whose 13.25% is 159. So let the number be x and according to question 13.25% of x equals to 159. Now this can be written as 13.25%. 25 upon 100 into x equals to 159 and this x will be equals to 159 into 100 upon 13.25. This decimal sign can be removed to get 100 over here. Now we are going to solve these all. Here this can be divided by 25 4 times and here this will be 25 into 5 3. Now 53 into 3 times. Now we are going to multiply all of it. So x equals to 3 into 4 that is 12 and 12 into 100 1 to 0 0 as the required number. Now we are moving to question number 11 first part. Here we have to increase the number 60 by 30 percent. So this can be written as 60 plus 30 percent of 60. So this will be equals to 60 plus 30 upon 100 into 60. 0, 0 cancelled out. And this is 60 plus 3 into 6, that is 18. So 60 plus 18, that is 78 as answer. In second part of question number 11, we have to decrease this 750 by 10%. So this can be written as 750 minus 10% of 750. Zero. So this will be equal to 750 minus 10 upon 100 into 750. Zero. Zero, 0 cancel out and we are left with 750 minus 75. This is equal to 675 as answer. Now we are having question number 12. What number when increased by 15 percent becomes 229? So let the number be x and here according to question x plus 50 percent of x equals to 99. Now x plus 15 upon 100 x equals to 299. On taking LCM this will be 100 x plus 15 x upon 100 equals to 299. Now 100 plus 15 that is 115 x upon 100 equals to 299 and this x will be equals to 299 into 100 upon 115. Now we can divide this by 5 that is 20 and this will be 23 then 13 times. So we get the value of x as 13 into 20 that is 260 as answer. Now we are moving to question number 12 second part here on decreasing a number by 18 percent it becomes 697 find the number. So let the number be x and according to question x minus 18 percent of x equals to 697. Here we are going to write this one as x minus 18 upon 100 
x equals to 6, 9, 7. Then we have to take LCM. This will be 100. So 100x minus 18x equals to 6, 9, 7. 100 minus 18, that is 82x upon 100. That is equals to 6, 9, 7. And x will be equals to 6, 9, 7 in 200 upon 82. Here, we can divide this by 2. This will be 50 and this will be 41. And this 41 can cancel in this by getting 17 over here. Now, the value of x will be 17 into 50. That is 85. 0 as a required number. That's all in this video. Thank you.